Hey guys, and how's it going? This is a second video in a series of me rejuvenating and bringing out the bikes that I've built in the past and kind of giving them a once over. Some of them only sat a little while, some of them have sat for a couple of years. So there's already two bikes done, one's put away, it's a green OCC chopper with a six and a half horse uh, Suzuki engine on it, that one's done and put away. The second one was done, which is think twice is the twin, twin engine bike. That one just got done in, on the last video, although it is pouring out, so I'm not able to run this one out in the rain. So we got to go on to a different one. This, these two have been sitting the longest. They're probably going to need, you know, carbs cleaned and, and all that kind of deal. And this one should be ready to rock and roll. This is the last one done, so it's only a year and a half old. I ran this one two or three months ago, so it should be pretty close to. Uh, other than tire pressures and a, and a cleaning, that one should be ready to rock and roll. Which one you want to do? That's called the board track racer for obvious reasons. That's the second one I built, I think. <laughs> and this one's called the rat bike. This one's a two stroke and that one's a four stroke. That one's running a Rio, a 19, I think 49 Rio. And the bike is a 51 Schwinn that I started with. It came from yard sale. And this is I'm not quite sure of the style of the bike that it was. I've cut and raked the front end and made put a long front end on it and all. I think it was like one of those uh, Jesse James choppers, possibly. Why don't we do, let's go do this one. This one's probably been the longest. And then we'll switch over to the, if we got time, we'll switch over to the old four stroke. I can get her up on the bench and start wrenching. Next. goes up and falls over. I guess we'll do a walk around before we clean it all up. This guy's gonna yell at me. Why don't you let it get in that condition? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I actually kind of like them. I, I, I like them to wear in. Uh, let me give you an example. So if you're looking at the bike, you build the bike and say this is rusty and this is not. It looks like the two pieces were just put together recently where if you let them sit out in the weather and all kind of rust up and then you clean it back up again They blend together and it kind of makes it feel that it's more One piece There's a little bit of rust on the fence. It gives it all the same age kind of going across if that makes sense to you So that's kind of why I let them sit and do what they did certain ones certain ones I don't want to do that with but certain ones I do which this one eh, it could use some of that but that one definitely, I want it to look very old, like it was built a long time ago, although it's, you know, five years old. Anyway, we're getting out of where we were. And here's what it is before it gets cleaned up. It's using a Tecumseh two-stroke off of one of those two-stroke snowblowers, you know, little push-behind jobbers. And the engine was really good, the snowblower was junk. I've changed this uh, cover a couple of times now. It was, how would I point the camera where, what we're looking at? It was gold the last time I did it. Like I painted it gold to kind of come up off of the copper pieces that were on it. And didn't like that because it just looked like, you know, it's like paint, it's like painting fake chrome. It just looks crappy. Uh, the gold, the copper kind of looked that same way. And I stripped that off and then I went back over it with gun bluing. It looked good, but you can notice now it all turned white. So we'll see what happens when we oil that up, what it looks like. You may want to change that. For the air cleaner is a is a um, handheld heater. It would have like a butane flame in the center. It's like basically it's a lighter enclosed. It burns a red um, felt. And then there's a sock that goes over. You, you would keep that in your pocket in the wintertime to keep your hands warm and whatnot. Anyway, that is now the air cleaner, the primer bulb right you no know, it's got gas in it <laughs> how's it look can we go with that actually looks pretty clean might even try it just for without pulling that carpet apart and she says must be on. gas can is a marvel mystery oil can this was the original frame i cut and raked the front end a lot it was probably like that and i want to give it some length to it to give and a lot of that was to give room for the pedals if you in the state of new hampshire if you leave a bike pedal 
single speed engine. And the law is kind of hazy about engine size. You're not supposed to be able to do over 20. Must still be able to pedal. Um, you can run them, no registration, nothing. You just, you're good. You see them as riding a bicycle. Same laws. So that's kind of why it, all of them still have the pedals on them for that reason. It, you know, they're, they're getting outside the realm of what they were looking for, but. That's why it's still pedals. And on this one, it's rear brakes too. It's got coaster brakes, pedal backwards. I think that's all it's got. Yeah, it has no front brake. <laughs> you drag your feet. A uh, copper tubing to allow the chain guard because I had to steer that chain down and around. So it just kind of steers it there and back. Tail light is a flashlight. We, what's your dibs that that batteries are any good? <laughs> yeah, no. Flashlight and I just painted the, the uh, lens red. It has a trim ring to another bicycle ring welded to the original rim. That is the dry sheave for it. Wrenches for support. It's got a pair of um, nippers for the kickstand for the pliers. The, this is part of handlebars. Meet up an exhaust and then it switches to baseball bat right here and the rest of it I put it on a bender and I try to bend a, a baseball bat that does not do that does not bend very easy with packet sand but that's on there and it's got springs on a saddle here so it can kind of wiggle around and then right up here it's got two more springs to hold it so it can kind of do its thing it was so loud when I uh, first put it together it was ridiculously loud because <laughs> it's a megaphone, you know, it just got larger and larger. So I, I shoved a like a moped muffler down inside it. You see it? It's like one set screw, holding that in there. And even with that, it's still fairly loud. Before it was ridiculous. So a little family living in there. Headlight is a uh, miner's light. Yeah. Battery's done too. The original tires that were on the bike, and then I just extended the forks. That's the amount that they were done. And the nose, I think, were welded. It might be off of a different one. Heated the cranks up. The crank, I think the arms are getting fairly low to the ground, so I actually just heated them up and bent them, and it doesn't seem to make much of any difference. They just, they just changed the clearance. More wrenches for a lot of support for that. There is a horseshoe bridging the frame, tying all the pieces together together to get support. There's a uh, keep you from busting your, your leg. It's a coned over a uh, half dollar. And the shifter, the shifter is pretty cool in this one. I like the, the idea how it came out. It has, so this is a quarter inch ratchet, socket extension. Yeah, just a socket welded to the frame, quarter inch ratchet. Ratchet, I, I'm not sure if I welded it on the inside or not. You might be able to pop it off. But then it's got the forward and reverse that, for the ratchet. So if you flip one direction, it allows you to put drive on the drive belt and to release it you flip the ratchet ahead of time right and then if you push forward on the ratchet it'll back itself off so you, like while you're going you can pre-select and then you, you just kind of feather it along plus you pedal you know when the ones with the pedals on you actually you can get them going and then kind of popping them in gear the the biggest drawback to this style bike is it's hard to like just putt along and just like walk the bike and and slip a clutch because it really doesn't have that capacity. It's more like a lawnmower deck or a lawnmower. You know, you, you kind of, you're either in or out. You can slip them a little bit, but not crazy. Anyway, so that's the shifter. You can, you know, bump it up a little bit, get some drag at it, spinning a little, moving a little, and then you can, you know, once you're up to speed, click them right in, keep from slipping. It's a serpentine belt. And it actually, the, the biggest problem I, serpentine belts bite, pretty much too good 
So if you notice, it's actually flipped over. I got the grooves on the outside. Plus I had to cut it down. I cut you know, maybe a, a third of that away. The original engine had on the snowblower had a flat pulley drive. That's kind of why I just went with it because the pulley that was on there from the snowblower is just that. And I want to try. I like trying different setups. You know, I want. I like the old school look of the the old belt drives. You know, especially on that one. It just gives it a different look. All right, I've done an awful lot of talking. That is eight minutes of just yammering on. But that's the bike. Let's go get her cleaned up. Make it look pretty. See if we can get the fire up. Clean it up. I'm looking at the piston. Like, little mud dauber made a nest inside there. Of all the places. You like the view. Let me pack that sucker. It's got style. Look at that. Moving day. Moved. Any better? Well, the covers, the color of that's kind of got me, but we'll think about that. More concerned with getting it running. If we want to change things later, we can. I got to get batteries. Put them on the list. You see where now what I'm talking about. So I cleaned off a certain section and then it gets dark right here and then dark right here and gets back off again. Just like it has the look like it's been there for a long time. When you first build them, they have. Uh, uh, it doesn't look in unison. It just looks like where all the pieces were scabbed on. But over time, you know, it kind of blends in a little bit better. Like the wrenches kind of get lost in it. You look, you can kind of see them, but you're from far away. It just looks like it's supposed to be together, you know. I like the frame on this one. A couple things I didn't show. One was the throttle is a three-speed shifter that just goes down to the primer and what else about oh, a pull start pull start is three quarters and a bent around actually works pretty good i like it made a copper is all out of copper tubing made a copper uh, retainer for the brake lever Right, we say we just try starting it with the gas that's in it and see what happens. We gotta take it apart, we gotta take it apart. All right, let's see what happens. Again, I have no idea how old that fuel is. I wanna say the bike's having, it hasn't run in two years. I don't remember what way it's choked and what way it's not. Let's go try it like that. That's the kill switch, it's the doorbell. We're in neutral, we're good to go. I'm trying to keep it running, I want to blow it idle. to choke off and give her a free revs that's cool again that was fuel that was um, the true fuel got no ethanol in it so it survived good we don't have to tear that carb apart figures because i fired up the ultrasonic cleaner and it's all warm ready for the carb we got other bikes to do though let's uh what do you want to do let me run this a little bit get you back in the stand and uh let me get it warmed up Try it again.
that one's good. I think the fuel kind of has to run through it. I don't want to start adjusting the carb because I think once I put the fresh stuff in, it'll come right back to where it is. You can see where it's bogging a little. And I went to go click it, like one click on the choke, and it got better. So I think that's probably what's going on. It has two adjusting screws. It has a high and a low on this one. There, right there, those two guys. Which is nice. I like those carbs. You, you can tweak them to you know whatever your setup is and you know, how well it breathes and all. see this one a little this is again a Rio four-stroke going to a belt slip setup it's got a suicide shifter I guess we're gonna call it belt drive on the back serpentine again it is using uh, another bike a 24 inch rim on a 26 and these are uh, like staples for like conduit just welded to the rim used as standoffs the hardest part about those is getting that thing right on the money so that when it's rolling it's not doing one of these it started out as a Schwinn like 59 plain Jane Schwinn bike actually had a motor on the front of it when I got it and took that off put it on something else and I cut length the frame I heated the frame up and stretched it to get more room in between the center put a new tube in the bottom of it and get the front tire raked out more you know get more space between the wheel wells fortunately it's a fairly skinny engine and it has a gear reduction built into it I think it's a six to one it comes off the camshaft and I left these two pulleys to be able to play with if I needed to change the gear ratio around I was gonna use this area to do that and it ended up actually being pretty good it's a little tall I'd say you hit a hill you're kind of really bogging these are door handles little door handles and here's the pull of the door handle Coming in. This is off of a lawnmower to raise and lower a mower deck and then some of the linkages. So you pull that back, you pull that back and select the pin, and you can see where it just locks into the drive there and makes your drive. And you can slip this one pretty easy because you're pulling towards you. So you just leave it out in the out position, you kind of give it some throttle, you, you slip it, you get the bike moving a little bit, and you lock it in. But again, these don't like stop and go traffic either. You kind of put it in gear and go. Or you pedal. <laughs> this is a bike frame for the kicks, the rear, the rear stand. It's just another bike frame. It's this section of another bike. You can see. Let's change the angle of them. Flare down. I was just a piece of pipe continuing I split the pipe bent it up and then just filled this metal in I think this was off of a snowblower and lawnmower this engine and it's the larger of the Rio's it's the only engine that runs backwards or counterclockwise a soup can for the air cleaner this is the forks are off of a Sears it was an all chrome bike I try to get a name Starliner something like that that's the front end off of that so it's got front suspension I made the gas tank had a cardboard and then this was the lug nut on the side of the road from a tractor trailer it's one of those covers so it's just got pipe and then I I coated the tank with that that creamer The uh, headlight is a uh, coal miner's lantern. You got the crap out of me. <laughs> and leaning against the air. This is a kitchen sink from like here. So right about here is the, the nozzle part of a kitchen sink. These are golf clubs. 
<laughs> hey, I used what I had. This is, the jack shaft is a mower deck spindle. And just modified some pulleys to make it drive the back. That's oh, not on the stand. Let's get a pedal up for you. I found some old tires that were yellow-ish. They already had the nice old look to them, except for they, they branded them. Kind of sucks. Probably should go over with a Sharpie or something right there. Yeah, that looks real modern. This bike is the most that people think it's a real old bike because I guess because it was painted. You don't see all the goofy wrenches and stuff in it. All right, what do you say we spray this one down? Get it cleaned up. And by the power of video, all cleaned up. And again, I like the dirty getting into the looks, nooks and crannies and making it look like it's been there 100 years. I think I built this in 2014, so people ask me what year it is, I tell them it's a 14. I'm not lying, <laughs> it's a 14. It's just uh, not 1914. What do you say, what does the gas gauge say? The gas gauge is right there, so there's not much in it. That line right there. You want to just turn it on and give her a couple pulls, see what happens. And the gas is shut off, that's good. I don't know if anything's going to flow or not. Let's see if it overflows. <laughs> that's a choke. Yeah, it feels a little gummy. We should go check the throttle first before. <laughs> Yeah, it's returning. Fires up full throttle. Right, let me get you propped in the stand. We'll give it a couple tugs on it, see if anything happens. I doubt it. Let's see. I think we're good to go. Choke's on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's cool. That's a rip my arm. That's <laughs> a rip my arm out of the socket. All right, now I'm mad at it. Turn it over this way. It's. I think it's missing one of the the tongs. Let me get that. So I'm sure it needs to run some fuel through it, but not bad. I tweaked the uh, mix a little bit and then it came back. 
made it a little richer. Love the way this one thumps. Wanna try it? Go ahead. Start vibrating now. How's that? That's a tight squeeze. And essentially none of them are touching each other except for the two handlebars in the middle are tied together. And we got more. <laughs> Let's just say I don't think I'm gonna be able to buy much. If I do, it's gonna to have to go on the roof. And here we are at Race and Rama. I'm not quite sure if it's <laughs> an omen or not that the, I'm right across from a cemetery. Just saying. Should have turned you on earlier, but starting them up for the people. I got a couple more too. No way. You guys wanna go for a ride? Let's go check out the event. We are gonna we need gas. Ladies wanted to take a picture of my bike. I said, 
fair trade though they gotta have a picture of a uh, video on my channel so this could be my thumbnail for me too all right oh you're done taking pictures of it oh well now i'm not <laughs> we'll take more pictures never get too many right you guys look cold i'm freezing <laughs> i came prepared Take care. Alright guys, let's go fire it up. Go for a ride. Yes, on. I lost my lid. Let's go a little tighter, shall we? Gotta put it in ride mode. Thanks. That's cool too.
look familiar? That's the same shape too. Job making an old shovel into a seat. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. Motorcycle? Holy! That thing That'll is go in the huge. motorcycle. Yeah, it better have car tires on it. <laughs> I think it's a beast. You have a car tire on the back and a motorcycle wheel on the front. Right. It's gonna haul ass too, cause that's probably like an eight horsepower at least. It's, it, Bumper. They don't. Everything I've looked up on them, they rate them at anywhere from six to nine horse. That's not a Wisconsin, is it? No, what what did it use for spark? Did it have mag? I think it has. I think it's behind you know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Behind it. But like I said, this is all like quarter inch freaking. Yeah, well, spark plug wires coming right out of there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Set. Yeah. And you got you, gas tank. I too. believe this is a compression release. <laughs> I think yeah. you, you might need yep. it or kill. It might be the kill. Yep. It might be the kill. Or ah, oh, too bad somebody took the tag. Huh? He took it because he still had the rest of it and it had all the uh, lubrication points for the generator. Uh, the only thing he didn't keep for the generator was the pulley. I was surprised he didn't huh. keep that big ass pulley. Yeah, I guess it was a, it's a supposedly a 43 ZZ Briggs, and it came off of a signal core generator. Huh. I saw the generator, it was like the old sled type, the freaking thing. I huge. bet, yeah. You know. Was that way about 100 and... About 80. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> about 80. Hey, buddy. Karma, come say hi. Hey. Look at Hi. Karma, sit. Hey. Karma. Karma. Hey, sit. Look at me. Does <laughs> oh. <laughs> it look like that? That's cool. I got it.
This shit, the 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 fork, the, forks the, the fork braces, it, it just, it's just stunning. Thank you. It is just stunning, man. I, I, I'm impressed. I am impressed. You're gonna walk fine, but I like it. Hey. <laughs> I like it. Holy. It's geez. all that lead paint growing up, you know. <laughs> they said it affects you a little. Yeah. Did you eat those chips? Yeah. That? They weren't bad. What are the motors? They are twin Echo backpack leaf blower engines. Yeah. That uh, somebody gave me, they were throwing them away, and uh, said, "You want these?" Because the backpacks were all busted up, and everything was, you know, no good on them. But both well, engines fired right up. And I was like, "Well, hey, oh, yeah, really? I'll take them." Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I was going to say, you know, the great thing about this is that you can find these friggin' engines in the dumps, and most of the times, <laughs> most of the times, the gas went bad in them because they're two stroke and they won't friggin' run. So yeah. you clean the carburetor out, and off you go. And there's there's two hundred bucks in each bike. You know, there's no money in them. It's all yeah, cheap yeah, stuff. It's, you can kind of. I make the analogy, I could take a $20,000 Harley and turn it into a $10,000 Harley real easy, you know? But, uh, you know, doing this stuff and you just kind of screw around. If you screw it up, you screw it up. Who cares? You can have fun with it and just kind of, you know, yeah. go wild. Are you selling these? You nah, selling these? nah, they're just my toys. No, you'd really? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Just for the fun of it. Huh. It's just, it really. It's just stunning. Thanks, man. It really is. It's just, but Dana and I are antique guys. And and so I saw this one, I was walking over there and I went, oh shit, there's some old time. <laughs> and I walked over and I thought, okay, yeah. you got me. But it is clever as all shit. I like the guys that walk up with their girlfriend, they're trying to impress them. And they tell them that, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's an 07 Indian. That's it, yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Then I walk up and tell them what it is, you know, and yeah, he goes with his tail between his legs. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, really. Yeah, this is, yeah. No, this is, this is, I'm riding old Indian. This is my Indian. You know, everybody gathers around and, and yeah, will it stand? No, if I'm alone, it's that first yeah. kick every time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
like go. I set them all up to do, you know, the slowest runs probably 25, the fastest ones probably 40. Yeah. You don't want to go much faster on bicycle parts, yeah. you know. It's, no, you can't remember what they are. Now to get all of those back in the truck. That should make life a little easier, huh? Just so happen to have this little loading ramp. I don't have to go up the ramps. And just put them all right in. Just had to take a couple of pedals off. No problem. Now they fit. Kind of. Hey guys, I think it's going to wrap it up. I got the truck unloaded and all except for this last beast of an engine. I'm going to get Brian to come over tomorrow and to help me get that out. Maybe we could do a, a feature, a cold start on that. It's a 1943 Briggs. I forget what he said, what it was. I got it written down, but we'll deal with that when the time comes to uh, go play with that. I want to say thanks to all the guys who I met up with. Probably about at least 20 of you came up and said, hey, Musty One, how's it going? And uh, like your channel, et cetera, et cetera. So that was really cool. The bikes were a big hit. I got to, uh, I kind of hid in the back just because that's the way I am. But uh, next year they want me kind of more up front and center. I took a trophy home for a rat bike, which the, uh, yeah, I think twice bike was uh, brought over to the show. They convinced me to go do that, so that was really cool. Uh, I want to thank the guys for again dropping the engine off, and uh, another one of you dropped off a bunch of hardware, and a bunch of you have mailed me some things over the the past couple of weeks. And I just want to say again, thank you, and I appreciate that for uh, sending that stuff my way. So I'm gonna go wrap it up, guys. I'm gonna go get myself something to eat, take Lily for a little ride. The guys, are gonna ask did I buy anything? The only thing I bought was two 10-inch tires for a project. Other than that, I spent five bucks. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. I will see you on the next one. Later. What do you want? A cheeseburger or a Mexican? What do you think? I'm thinking Mexican. Then you get the farts. You do. If I get you Mexican, you're gonna fart? What do you think? Okay, cheeseburger. <laughs>